Hey guys, so this week we're gonna be adding two more exercises. So the goal is, you know, each time I do a video, I add a couple exercises and you can do those in order of the videos when they were posted. You can kind of mix it up if you want, but the goal is to keep adding on each week, make your regimen a little longer with Pilates and eventually we can basically be doing a full class virtually, which is awesome. So today I'm gonna to teach you open leg rocker to start. So open leg rocker is similar to rolling like a ball. So if you haven't tried that one out yet, I would go back, try rolling like a ball, and then come back for open leg rocker. So it's the same idea. You're gonna be balancing on your tailbone and rocking back and forth. Again, if you have a yoga mat, or if you're on hardwood and don't have anything, maybe save this one, skip it, come back to it at a time when you have a mat or a softer surface. If you're on pretty nice carpet, you can probably do it without a mat, but a mat is always recommended for anything where you're rolling across your spine. So open leg rocker in its full form is here. So my legs are nice and straight behind the knee. I'm holding on to my ankles. My chest is pressed forward, my shoulders are down and my legs are about shoulder width apart. From here, I rock back and I rock right back up. However, I recognize not everyone has the hamstring quad flexibility required for this. So a good way to work up to that, besides stretching out those muscles, is to take it about here. You're gonna hold right underneath the thigh, wherever you can get your hands, and just strain your legs as much as you can. If you can go here, great. If you need a little soft bend, if you need a nice tabletop, do what you need. And just roll back and roll up right to the tops of the shoulder blades. This one challenges the abs a little more because you don't have everything as compact. You're kind of having to use those upper abs especially more to pull yourself back up. The most important thing with open leg rocker, I'll show this way, is you don't want to come up like this. See how I'm all hunched over? You probably can't even hear me very well. You want to be nice, tall, proud at the top. Elbows wide, chest proud, shoulders down, back straight. So you're really working those abs and achieving that nice posture. The other exercise I'm going to show you today, I would do about five-ish of those open leg rockers. Make sure to stretch out the hips after that one can definitely pull on the hips. This next one is called the saw. So you can take the feet, scoot back a little bit more shoulder distance apart and if you're on your mat the length of the front end of your mat that's usually about shoulder hip distance you're gonna sit up nice and tall making sure that both sit bones are rooted in so this whole time i'm thinking about my two sit bones right and left staying nice and even i never want to sit like this into them we're not doing a wiggly dance i also don't want my feet to rotate in or rotate out i want to keep them nice and parallel and flexed big toe coming back to the shin. My arms are gonna come right up in front of me. I'm gonna to twist to the right, open up my palms, and then dive forward over my right leg, trying to saw off my pinky toe with my pinky finger. My ear is reaching down towards my forearm, but you notice my left hip, it hasn't lifted up. It's still down. Nice stretch. My back arm is reaching, reaching, reaching. You can kind of see it. I come back up, bring it back to center. Twist and dive. So again, my back arm, you can really see on this side, is reaching. My front arm is sawing off. This hip hasn't lifted and come back to center. I usually do this about four times, four on each side. With the last one, I like to take a long stretch down to really stretch out the backs of those legs, really stretch out that back, get a nice twist in the spine, ring out the spine. So add those two to your Pilates regimen and I will see you later with some more.